Okay, up until now, we've been solving for volume. Well, what happens if we have one of the dimensions missing? In this case, we have a missing radius or a diameter. The picture is saying that we want to know the diameter. So we have to figure out the radius first, right? Because diameter is not in our formula. We have our picture on our paper. And then the next thing we're going to need is our formula for volume. So volume of a cone, volume is equal to, it comes to a point, one third area of the base times the height, because we're talking about a cone, which has a circular base. We're gonna replace the area of the base with pi radius squared times height. All right, next step, we're going to figure out what are our facts that we know. Okay, do we know height? And the answer is yes, the height is four and two tenths inches. Do we know, what else do we know? We know the volume. The volume is three and six tenths inches cubed. Another way, a, a giveaway for this is notice the units. Volume inches are cubed. The single dimension just is written as inches. What are we trying to find out? Well, we don't know D, right? D is what we're trying to find out. But I don't see a D in this formula. So the first thing we're going to have to find out, we have our H, we know pi, we know V, is we have to solve for R. R is our unknown. Our next step is to take our facts and plug it in, plug it in. So we're going to take our facts, we're going to plug it into our formula. Volume is 3 and 6 tenths equals pi. Radius, we do not know. So r squared, we do not know. But we do know our height. Our height is 4 and 2 tenths. So what should we do next, do you think? We want to isolate the variable that we're looking for. So we're going to isolate r squared. First thing, oh, you know what I forgot here? What did I forget? I hope you're yelling at me because I forgot to write one third. So we're going to put that one third in here and we're going to simplify. Is four and two tenths a multiple of three? Well, what's our divisibility rules? If I add up the four and the two, I get six and is six divisible by three and it sure is. So I can simplify this to be three goes into three once. And three goes into four and two tenths, one with the remainder of one, and three goes into 12 four times. So one and four tenths. So now simplified, this is three and six tenths is equal to pi radius squared times one and four tenths. Well, let's go ahead and isolate the r squared. So I'm going to divide both sides by one and four tenths. Can I reduce that? So I know these are not pretty numbers to work with, but that's okay, because that's very real world. Three and six tenths divided by one and four tenths, both numerator and denominator even, so I'm going to reduce that to be one and eight tenths over seven tenths. So I have one and eight tenths over seven tenths. And at the same time, I'm gonna divide both sides by pi. So my pi is going to, pi over pi is one, and one and four tenths over one and four tenths is one. So I have 1 8 tenths over 7 tenths pi is equal to radius squared. Okay, 
I'm not going to ask you to do this by hand. I am going to expect that you're going to use a calculator. So the first thing we want to do is we are going to use the pi button when we're dividing. So we're going to take 1 and 8 tenths and divide it by 7 tenths times 3.14 dot dot dot. And that's going to be equal to r squared. If I take 1 and 8 tenths and divide it by, this is, a, this is going to be um, about uh, low point to something. So when I divide that, I wind up with eight, about 8 tenths is equal to radius squared. Okay, so we're going to use a calculator for these calculations. Now, I don't want r squared. I want to know what r is. So I am going to take the square root. And what I do to one side, I do to the other. So square root of both sides. I'm going to take my 8 tenths, square root that, square root the r squared. I don't want a positive and negative root because dimensions are not negative. When I put 8 tenths and take the square root of that, I get 9 tenths. Because think about this, 9 times 9 is about 81. So it's pretty close to 9 tenths. r squared, the square root of r squared is r. But this is our radius. We want to know diameter. So we have one more step to find this answer. 2 times the radius is equal to the diameter. So I'm going to take my 9 tenths, multiply it by 2, and that's going to give me my diameter. And these are all approximate, right, because we were estimating. So 1 and 8 tenths, what units are we working with? Inches is equal to the diameter. On this next example, we're going to try to find the height of a cone. Notice I'm putting them in all different directions. Doesn't matter whether it's standing on the point, standing on the base, laying sideways. It's still a cone because it has a circular base and it comes to a point. So we have our picture and now we need our formula. So the formula is the volume is equal to one third comes to a point, the area of the base times the height because the base is circular. The area is pi r squared times the height times that one third. So now we have the formula that we're going to use. Next thing is, what are our facts? What do we know? Well, we know our radius. Our radius is 9 feet. We know our volume, which is 956 feet cubed. Do we know our height? Height is our unknown. So our next step is going to be plug it in, plug it in, plug in those values that we know. Volume 956 equals one third pi, the radius nine squared, and we don't know the height. Let's go ahead and Whoops, let me make that a black. Uh, simplify, black pen. So 956 is equal to 1 third. 9 squared is 81 times h times pi. Is 81 divisible by 3? Well, let's think about this. 8 plus 1 is 9. So yes, it is, because 9 is divisible by 3. So 3 goes into 3 once, and 3 goes into 88 twice. 
with a remainder of two. Three goes into 21 seven times. So our simplified version is 956 is equal to 27 pi times our unknown, which is our height. All right, next. Let's go ahead and isolate our H, right? We want to find out H. So we are going to divide both sides by 27 pi. All right, 956 divided by 27 times. We're going to use that pi button on, the on that calculator. 27 pi over 27 pi will be 1. So that is equal to H. So it becomes just a calculator problem. 956 divided by 84.78. Now, the number is going to be longer in the calculator is about H. Again, all of this, absolutely, it is okay to use your calculator. We are going to divide and round to the nearest Okay, so 956 divided by 84.78 is about 11 and 3 tenths. And now we need our units. So therefore, the height is about 11 and 3 tenths feet.